Good afternoon, members of the press, the IAW, ladies, gentlemen, and all the religious organizations representing on this forum. <clears throat> you know, I just want to make one, one very, very clearly, you know, I didn't sort of um, want to illustrate the comparisons between the Sri Lankan issue that we're fighting currently. This Israeli thing is a 70, more than 70 years protracted fight, and yet it's 70 years ago, and yet in this modern age and era, there seemed to be no final resolution. So you could see how many, I mean, we, we, we go through life, in paces of life, trying to find what is it that we're doing, or what is, in, what is it that we have to do to bring some kind of dispensation whether it's a Sri Lankan issue or, or the Palestine. I, mean, I go on record on behalf of the South African Tamil Federation that we also had a similar kind of issue. Uh, you will note in terms of support of the Israeli apartheid week on the 9th, we're having this, this program in Laneja in terms of seeing similarities in the Sri Lankan issue that is being uh, uh, against this uh, single lease that is being uh, fought against. And of course, you've got the Israeli and Palestine. Okay? And that will be debated. There's going to be an open uh, communication that we've uh, initiated with other members of the society, like the Katrada Foundation, where we're actually going to bring people. Because what, what happens very, very often, we as administrators, we are in the hierarchy, we know we deal with public testing, international uh, uh, conflicts, and it's only brought to the heads of the state, but never to the ground root. Our people are none the wiser in terms of what is happening? Why you guys are involved in this? But rightfully, many speakers said about their constitution in terms of the righteousness of men. Okay. And that goes, it's a creed that every religious organization <coughs> ascribes to and they affiliate to so that we can bring a peace, peaceful settlement. We're fighting other people's war, but in essence, it is our war. Internationally, it is our war. So we, as South African Tamil Federation, in our uh, uh, we want to make sure that the inhuman uh, and atrocious um, uh, treatment that the people is subjected to, we need to actually make sure that we combat that. And also, you know, the human rights violations. So many human rights violations were broken. Protocols have been broken. And yet, I think you mentioned this, it is hidden away into such a positive way. You know, it's distorted to such a such an extent that you could never find the bottom of it. And people believe the press. Our press, sometime, not, they want to make sure they, they give the right information to the right people and they report rightfully. But sometimes it's distorted. And it's to the reader that actually misinterpret the righteousness of, of what we're trying to do, <laughs> civil rights, addressing civil rights issues. And all I want to say on behalf of the South African Tamil Federation, we align ourselves with the Israeli uh, apartheid week. We are in, in, in heart, soul, and mind aligning ourselves in this mission that, you, that you're undergoing. We will make sure that we want to be involved in every facet of your fight. And we align because we know, as I said, there's comparisons between the, uh, the, the the Sri Lankan issues, a very protracted Sri Lankan issues with the Sinhalese, where about 300,000 were incarcerated into concentration camps, and yet there's no dispensation. You know, South Africa was very lucky. We had the, the, the reform program in terms of uh, redistribution. They, you can't even voice your opinion. That 300,000 will be incarcerated for, and they've resigned themselves to live in that concentration camps, like slaves undergraded, dehumanized conditions. And yet the South African Tamil Federation is fighting. Cyril Ramaphosa took a delegation to Sri Lanka to fight it with us. So there's, there's some kind of resolutions coming out in terms of human rights where we align to the world uh, forums in terms of lining ourselves to bring some kind of a settlement. So again, I think we, we unreservedly make a statement here that we will align yourself in this feverish fight against the atrociousness that is happening in Palestine. Thank you. <laughs>